you ever wonder sometimes why every time you come up with a really great idea, before you can do anything to implement it, soon there's somebody else out there that's already doing it. Happen to you? Happens to me all the time. Hi, it's Bill. It's Creative License. Thanks for being a part in, uh, of the Little Dog and Pony Show. Thanks to Electro Voice Speakers for being a great sponsor. Uh, DJ NTV and Disc Jockey News and the Disc Jockey News uh, DJ Show happening in February out at the South Point Hotel in Las Vegas. Also, uh, DJ Event Planner and a promo only in uh, my workshop, The Entertainment Experience. So, anyway, um, I... It's kind of an interesting phenomenon, is it? Isn't it? I mean, it's like everybody, it's like the every million dollar idea has already been had, right? Every million dollar idea has already happened. <laughs> we get a great idea, and then two weeks later, that great idea shows up because somebody else did it. This is this is this is what I think, and I and I don't know that this is true but i i think it might be uh you know the old uh, the greek um idea of the muse uh the muse the 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 etherical uh, thing the the spirit in the world that would come down and and touch the creative person the painter the writer uh, the poet the song writer the playwright um they would do that, okay? That's, that's what muses were for, to inspire creativity. Well, I think that muses actually exist. Uh, think of it this way. There's uh, an idea in the universe, okay, that floats around. A really great idea about how to make a million dollars or, or uh, a great poem or a t-shirt slogan or whatever that thing is, right? And it's floating all around the universe and then it looks for someone to collaborate with. And the idea, this muse, settles upon you and waits for collaboration. And when the person it chooses does not act upon it, it goes, well, I was looking for a collaborator. Collaborator, I'm just gonna leave that person and I'm gonna float on, fall on somebody else or somebody else and somebody else until somebody goes, what an idea. I'm gonna take an action on that and boom, that person is doing that great idea, that idea that you had first, maybe. Or at least were, was given to you first by the etherical Greek god, the muse. <laughs> now, I know I'm getting a little weird here, but I, I, I really think I'm onto something here. When was the last time? It's happened to you, it's happened to me. So if the muse takes its time to touch someone to inspire that means the muse is looking for a collaborator on the idea that it has the muse finds you as a collaborator a great idea whether it be a story or a joke whether it be a business idea whether it be a marketing idea and when you don't take it the muse goes on if you do take it you collaborated with the muse the idea stands and stops with you and you get all the credit but if you sit on it if you don't do anything about it, the muse must be collaborated with. So it goes back out into the universe and finds that thing. So what do we learn from this? If this is a real thing, I'd like to think it is. If it's a real thing, then the lesson we can learn is when you are touched by inspiration, act. Act immediately. Don't wait. Don't go. I have to give this some thought. That's really a good idea. You know, I'll walk around. I'll sleep on this one. I'll think about it for a couple of months. No, act upon it. Do it wrong if you have to. Okay, but act upon it so that the collaboration of the muse, you and the muse can figure out the way it's supposed to be. And all of a sudden, you've got a creative, interesting idea that the muse has touched you with. What do you think? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people that are thinking, oh my Lord, Bill, are you kidding me? Yeah, well, that's just what I think. So uh, write your stuff down in the comments below. Um, uh, send me an email, send me a note, whatever you want to do. Um, until next time, though, I'm Bill. Uh, this is Creative License. I just thought of an idea. I'll see you next week. <laughs>